Welcome to the Sports Radio Music Show with me, the Gabby Cabby, on Sports Radio Birmingham, supporting B1% at the Wagon and Horses Digbeth Birmingham for the EP launch howling of one of Birmingham, nah, one of Britain, nah, one of the world's greatest bands. I don't usually swear. Where the fuck did you get that voice from? Oh man, cheers, uh... I don't know, I just, just get a lot, a lot of singing in the shower and um, yeah. and just, I don't know, singing to someone that would hear me. You know, my mother don't love me, so someone's got to. So I found, I found uh, refuge in the lads and they gave me the confidence. Now, you are broken yeah. with Rebels. That's right, yeah. I want to know the whole of your band. Yeah. I want the name check from the band. Okay. I want to know about the EP, mm. about the fact that you almost launched the brand of Broken Wit Rebels here at the Wagon and Horses yeah. and that's why you're here today that's right I want to know all about shake me down yeah <laughs> whatever you have got <laughs> such a bluesy gravelly voice so firstly yeah. let's have the name check of the band okay yeah Broken Wit Rebels was uh, me and Luke the bassist say hello Luke hello um, yeah. Luke we, uh, we was in a, a recording studio uh, with Anthony as well actually yeah and uh, we just stumbled across no, I met him, uh, didn't even mean to. That's a shake me down lyric, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> now we just stumbled across a, a newspaper in the dressing room, and uh, in the headlines it had "Broken Wit Rebels" um, in just a separate three pages. And we just thought, at the time, that really sort of described us. How we're not intentionally trying to be perfect. We, we like the rawness of of everything, you know. And we, um, it appealed to us. And straight from the get go, we thought it's unusual enough to run along with it. So we did. "Broken Wit Rebels" were born. Now, before I interviewed the get-go, I didn't know mm-hmm. what the get-go meant, but the get-go is the Wild West term yeah. for the beginning. That's right, yeah. So the get-go. Your album, your EP, it isn't the first. No. You've had one before we that had, as well, haven't y- you? Yeah, we had um, All Worn Out was our first... Uh, sorry, This Town Belongs to Me was our first EP that we made out, mm-hmm. and that was on iTunes and Amazon, digital download, and it done so well. We was, we was amazed at the power of the internet yeah. and social media, what it does to you. We, we had sales in... From Colombia to, to Argentina. Argentina, it was amazing when we got this, and we saw, wow, our music really is travelling for a small, you know, lads yeah. from Birmingham. And um, it made us, you know, off the back of that, we toured a lot, we gigged a lot, and um, we really wanted to make this killer EP, Howling. Yeah. So it really gave us the strength from going to power to power, and really sort of moulded us into who we are now, and we made Howling. And you're from Castlevale, so yeah. we've got to give it, and also got to give a name check to yeah. Sir Horace Gentleman. Yes, because definitely. Because Ari's from the specials wow. is the one that linked us together. Yeah. And he's gone, Gabby, check out Broken with Rebels. What a tune. What a voice. What a song. Well, we were, we were amazed when he did. I mean, Special's such a great band. And um, since I'm being up the road and I had guitarist James from being from Coventry, it was a massive thing. And we was a bit in awe, to be honest with you, at the start. And, um, yeah, we can't thank him enough. So yeah. thanks very much, Aris, for doing that. We appreciate it. Get me in touch with the, the Biscuit Boys. Make some noise for the Biscuit Boys. <laughs> oi, oi. <laughs> Talking about the Biscuit Boys, there's one to me rise. That's right. Now, how, how difficult? I know you've got iTunes, you've got social media. Yeah. It's, that is so integral, your, your Facebook accounts, your Twitter accounts. Because I'm getting from all the bands that we're linking up with, it's very, very difficult to get out there and get your music heard. Yeah. Very difficult to get it played on radio. Definitely, yeah. It is tough. I mean, there's a lot of bands doing it and a lot of da- bands are doing it for, you know, for more ulterior motives, for fashion, for look, for style, for image. We just, four lads, a, a, a band of brothers, really, that just love... BBC and Introducing's helped us a lot as well. Yeah. That's but, a really good platform for yeah. us to get. Like, that's the best platform you can get on for our for the West Midlands, and that's really helping us. Like, so we're not going to get on mainstream radio right now, but like BBC introducing is going to get us out there. So we really appreciate them playing us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. And you know, by all means, we were you know we're in it for the reason that we just want to make music for ourselves. We really enjoy the music we're playing. We're not doing it for a style and image. We just love you know playing together. And that's why it all matters to us. And getting out there is tough, you know. You've got to, you've got to have a product. You've got to believe in what you're doing, and you've just got to get there and gig it. There's no point sitting up behind the computer and saying, "What yeah. if? What if?" This is like nights no, like tonight, where we brought it back to the wagon horses. It's about, you know, getting out there, and that's what we love doing. If we can't play live, then there's no point. Describe, describe the kind of band that you are. I, I just watch your sound check. Yeah. Rock, bluesy. Yeah. Proper musicians. Yeah. Thank you. 
Thanks I very think much. Because we feel the music, that's what we all yeah. like. Yeah. We all get along so well, and we know what we want to achieve, and that's it. Just naturally comes out of us, and that's just what happens. Yeah. So yeah. it's just it's not that we're trying to do that. It's mm. just it's Core's voice. It's very strong. So like we all like he writes the lyrics while we're playing at practice. So he'll basically we'll be jamming, and he'll come up with lyrics, and it will just flow like yeah simply. And like it's his voice that binds it all together and makes it so solid and strong. But one of the, you know, the, the, the massive talking points of your band mm-hmm. and the personality, yeah. it's got to be Luke's moustache. Oh, it's mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Luke, talk, talk us through that. Now, I mean, now, now we'll be on the legend. music and we're down to the moustache. Yeah. I'll pipe up the now. business. <laughs> yeah. um, now we're down to the business end of things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, big curly moustache, 12 months in the making. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's on uh, all sorts of steroids to get it up to this. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's um, hairy, it's hairy. bushy, and it's Monopoly at its finest. That's it. And and the the hair on top as well. I mean, Charlie it, Bronson, it's it's yeah. shaved. It's shaved it's, at the sides. It's greased all back, and that handlebar moustache. You could almost be a pilot. Yeah, couldn't you? Yeah, Pan-Am. you know, an RAF. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like pilot there. Old That's school, it. kind of forties, fifties. That's it, definitely. So how come you weren't doing the funky dancing in the Shake Me Down video like that? Your brother did that, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did Tell do us the funky about dancing. It. Got the moves, well, right. our, our first. Uh, um, videos we brought out all worn out call out the sun and only I they were very sort of very serious in the sense we're we're from these you know industrial side of Birmingham yeah. and it's very sort of working class and we really wanted to get the black and white the sort of going out of Birmingham into the first and Shake Me Down is very serious sorry the other um, this time belongs to me videos but um, Shake Me Down we just wanted to we're really comfortable in where we are mm-hmm. and um, it was a summer song and we just loved it from the get-go and we were just wanting to have a bit of fun with it yeah. we thought why not I mean we're working class lads we're from Castlevale we're from Estates and you know Hockley and we just wanted to get why and why not emphasise bingo you mm-hmm. know everyone loves a bit of bingo and young or old all our parents did it our nans did it and thought why not use the, the local yeah. so we got in touch and they, were, they loved it and they've really been supportive all the members there and and it was great. We just thought, why not? And bro- my brother's mad anyway, so he just says, <laughs> just tell me what to do and just do whatever you want to do. Yeah. And we, lucky enough, a lot of the members let us m- shoot them playing bingo. Yeah. And we just moulded it together. We had a brief idea what we wanted to do. Luke's very creative in the sense of that. And, uh, yeah, it came together to what it was. It was a bit of fun. That's what we want to focus on, having a bit of fun now. We're out of the industrial side, the black and white. We really want... That was what that EP was based on. Rising out, it was more serious. Now it's more like we're comfortable. We're yeah. like Everything we're just looking to have fun now. Yeah. Like before, we were just trying to get our name out there, and we we were really naive in the sense that we like we thought, yeah, that's we're a band, we're all serious. But like as you get as you grow as people and grow as a band, you just you relax a bit more, and that's where I think what you what you were saying was that's where it comes. It's just fun, and just that was it, really. Yeah, that was it. We just threw threw you know solos at it, and we really wanted to grab the attention of the mm-hmm. viewers. And it was about you know this is our first EP. You know you're going to stand and listen to us, whether we like it or not. Yeah. So we threw it out. This second one, we stripped it back and said it's not always about Blair, and we can we can take it to that level if we want it. We said we, we're raised on you know a reef of Franklin, Zeppelin, Muddy Waters, Otis Redding. We just wanted to get this, the the blues and the soul across. Yeah. And that was what howling is, you know, who's, most comfortable. Whose job was it to paint that jacket? Because I know that took oh, a long that was time. Oh, was it, it you, Luke? It took me all day to paint that jacket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I went into Asda and went to the kids' section and bought about five pots of glitter <laughs> with, and some, with P and PVA glue. Yeah. And we took Kat, one of our team, and we spent the whole day with a hairdryer, drying it, painting more on, drying yeah. it, and it turned out decent. Yeah. I love great, that jacket. Yeah. We've still got that jacket. We have. Yeah. It's glitter everywhere, shedding like an old dog. Everyone molting. You can have it, Gabba. You can have it. Twenty mate. quid. <laughs> so what? We might be able to sign that and, uh, and raffle it. Gigs that you've done locally. Do yeah. you, do you go further afield? Are you branching out? Yeah. Tell me, tell me what you've done and mm-hmm. where you're going. I know you're going to the top. Oh, thanks very you know, much. But, let's hope you know, so. let's talk well, about the journey. Um, we played. Uh, we've got Manchester. We've played Manchester, London. Um, Worcester and everywhere and we really want to get out there next week we're playing on the 8th we're in Manchester then we're in Worcester August is very sort of we're playing outfield you yeah. know and um, it's very important that we get out there I mean we don't want to sit there and you know Birmingham's a great city but we do love it's Birmingham. a city you know and there's yeah. a lot of them we want to take over we really do we really want to take over the, the country you know anywhere that the sky's the limit we believe we can you know we do it we just we want to sing for our supper mm-hmm. you know we don't want to just get there and reap the rules we want to get we want to be heard and you know if we're not going to get more we'll make sure we get heard 
getting on the on the circuit in Birmingham, you know, there's a lot of uh, the Aaron Owens in Kingsley. If you've got the Sunflower, that was my first gig with the band. That was yeah, yeah. You know, there's there's lots of promoters doing lots of things. Are you yeah. are you integral yeah. with them? Are you in touch yeah, with them? Yeah, we, we, we've worked with a few. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong. They've got some. We've had, we've supported the View. We've promoters. Um, we've supported some good. Excuse me. We've supported some very good bands. Um, and played some good gigs, and we probably we got our name out there off the back of them. Yeah. Um, but you know, as tonight, you know, give it or take it. We're happy to go with or without them. We'll create our own noise. We'll create our own bus. We always have. We, always have we've never been given well. anything, and we graft for everything. Mm. And that's the only way we'll have it. So now the wit, because yeah. like we got to talk. And you know, you said that it come from the newspaper. Yeah. That's like it should be with. Yeah, that's right. Rebels, but it ain't. It's, it, it's wit. Yeah, it's, w t. Why? I guess. I mean, it's not wit as in we, we didn't. A lot of people says is that like like street slang for with. Yeah. And it's not, it's just, it's, it's more, more like a coffee, wit, coffee witty reference. comedy. Yeah. When someone's got a quick wit. Yeah, that's you know, it. It was more to that sort of point and, you know, we, we wanted a band name that nobody else could have, nobody else could ever make up, because it made us unique to begin mm-hmm. with. And and we just threw that in and we saw it and we just thought, that's it. It, it. Because we hadn't sat there and made it, it just sort of fell into our lap. Yeah. It was it was a sign. Yeah. And we took it. Blimey, I think you've got some fa- hey, yeah, Hello. Hello, you're right. <laughs> Think they're for you, aren't they? I think so. You got some chicks following you guys, haven't you? I don't know. We're ugly fuckers as well. We're <laughs> <laughs> ugly fuckers as well. You know. We'll I don't know what it is. There'll be a few beeps added onto that. Yeah. No, we don't. We just leave everything in. Oh, they usually has a code word, but we don't. We just leave everything yeah. in, don't we? You know? Yeah. It's, again, you know, our music. I guess it just travels. It probably more appeals to women. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Mm. Wrong, but a lot of our followers, a lot of our fans, a lot of people that go out say so are women. I guess you can't complain. You know. I won't complain. That's it, yeah. Well, I mean, you he's got that tosh. He ain't got it for no point. That's yeah. for the women. Maybe that's it. Exactly. That's the, the attractant, you know. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Easiest way to walk up with you guys, you must have a website. Yeah. yeah. I know you've at Broken Wit Rebels, That's right, your yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Talk me all through that. Yeah, we've got a website, it's brokenwitrebels.com. Our Twitter is at Broken Wit Rebel. Our Facebook is you know, broken, facebook.com forward slash Broken Wit Rebels. Um, we're on all the above, all the social, anyway, Spotify, Google. Amazon, Google. Put Plus. us in Google, we'll yeah. come up all you across Put it. us yeah. in, in Google, yeah, we'll, we'll be on all platforms. And I suppose that's the nice thing with having a name that's a little bit different. Yeah. You come at the top of the page, we are, don't that's you? Right, yeah. We're the only thing on <laughs> no. when yeah. you search. That's that. it. it really does help. It, do, it does help. And yeah, I haven't sat searching it, I promise. Yeah. 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 He seriously yeah, has, yeah. Eno. Yeah. I bet you he searches his name pile. as well, <laughs> Eno. He's does, the vainest yeah. one of the lot, Eno. Yeah, well, haircut like that. Yeah, look, he's getting red now. I know, yeah. What a glow. Oh, I, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know. I know. I know. It's a summer night. healthy, doesn't it, now? I know, yeah. It's all them protein shakes. Is that what he's into? He's starting to, yeah. So talk me through the rest of your Howling EP. Obviously, the title track, Howling. You've talked briefly about that. Shake Me Down. Talk us through the others and where you get your influences, where you get your songwriting, yeah. your ideas from in a happy time, in a sad time. Yeah, I mean, a lot of our stuff we've got, say, we've got uh, our EP is Queen Bee, Howling, um, Bottom of the Hill, Shake Me Down, Cloud My Day, and that's it. That's man. right, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And they're all basically about women, really, you know. I'm getting that there's a women influence. Yeah, there's a very, very, you know, women and girls and previous experiences. And not only that, sometimes just a lot of our stuff just came very naturally. So we'll be jamming in the studio and um, I'd start opening my mouth and some things would come out. Maybe it's, I don't know, my subconscious or something. I thought, oh, that's a really cool line. So I'd I'd analyse the line. Mm -hmm. And I think, well, I can, off the top of my head, I could relate to something like that's happened in my life. Yeah, very so, good at ad libbing. Yeah, so it's very ad. A lot of it starts off very ad libby, mm-hmm. and then I sort of relate it and then build the story from that. Um, so you know, they're, they're very about the very sex-driven, raunchy women, virgin scandal. He's an animal, basically. <laughs> He's just yeah. an animal. So you, got, you know, and it's just uh, it's very much like that. It's just very sort of erotic. I guess, and that's why it's based on. But it's never, it's never meant to be that way. It's just the, you know, what else do you talk about? You're sounding like a sex pest. I know, I am. <laughs> it's the sun. It's and the, the sun. It's the sun yeah, that's oh, it. dear God! Two cans on this. <laughs> two cans. And the artwork on there is that coming back to the handlebar, Luke? No, that's Anthony. Oh, right, Anthony. Okay. Yeah. Does all the it's artwork the on that? Yeah. I don't know. I just started when we, uh, when I first joined the band. I didn't yeah. really have anything 
that I really liked. I don't know. Like I just I took a look at the old artwork and stuff, and like it was just. I joined the band and I had all this stuff to learn. They gave me a couple of songs, and I was just like, you know, when you just everything you're learning things and you're like finding your feet. you're finding mm. your feet and then I, I, I forgot that I used to do artwork and I was like I thought I'd make something and like it's very different to the artwork what it was then to what it is now because mm-hmm. I was more like uh, I don't know like more all over the place more like hitting everything it's so it was it's like it's the artwork really represents and like translates my like attitudes and like my sense of where I was at that time if you look at it it's very big and bold and it's just everywhere it's all over the place and the artwork's kind of transitioned in a way if you get what I mean that it's like more like everything's tighter now everything's more crisp more clean and yeah. that's the way we want it to be and like you can like look at the artwork and see the transition as yeah. well through the band and that's how I come up with the artwork is really it, yeah, I just it, interpret it, everything he's mm. a very intelligent man with things like that he's got a good eye creativeness and, yeah. and the same with Luke they're the, the, they're the two most creative people in the band um, with, with eyes for that, with mm-hmm. art and a vision, and um, the howling, the how Birmingham. This town belongs to me. P cover was very much Birmingham. It was over Anthony's flat about the cube and just looking it was over the city. And yeah. we wrote it in the winter as well. I think it yeah. depends when you write it to how yeah. things pan out. Mm-hmm. Howling was was sort of done through spring and summer. Yeah. yeah. So and everything was a little warmer, and mm. the music was wrote while it was warm, and and when everything's cold, you tend to write a bit darker. Yeah. So, so you and know that's right and Howling was very much the artwork for that I mean Anthony will tell you a difference but Howling was we, we just loved the, we fell in love with the name you know just Howling and it's like Howling for you there's that. a lot of blues references and then straight away we thought it needs to be a woman screaming and we looking, we found a, a model, Danny, and yeah, she, she, that. yeah, and she helped. And we, we, we had the image, and it was very, it was a normal, it was a beautiful picture. And we thought, why don't we silhouette it? Yeah. So we ended up silhouetting the the picture where it was, and it turned out great. And we we didn't want to mess about with it. We just thought, let's just leave it in its state of the silhouette, put it on a vintage background, which hadn't been done perfectly. And straight away, we fell in love with it. So mm. that's that's what it is. Very for us. vivid and colourful. It's like really summery. That's yeah. what we wanted. We wanted like warm, like a warm tone on the cover. Like if you look at it really closely, there's a lot of texture there, and that you can like in the way we play in his voice, there's a lot of texture as well. So like, like I said, like back to the point I was making, the the music we make represents the artwork we make. Like that's the best possible way I can describe it. And your merchandising, yep. you know, I've seen the merchandising store. It, it's the the circle with yeah. broken with rebels. You've got the colourful pens now. Usually, when you go into <laughs> when you go into a gig and yeah. you have the stamp, yeah, you know, Luke's so creative. He gets three different coloured felt tips, that's sticks so them together, right. and bangs that's them it. down. That's, that's Castle Island. <laughs> that is. That's and it's, it. it's almost the colours of broken with rebels as well. Did almost, you do that on purpose? No, I just got the darkest ones. <laughs> I won't take credit for that. I just. You know, I see what's there, I take it and I make it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. We do make our own, you know. We just make our own. And we made a banner. I made that board sewing machine, you know. What you see is we put every bit of graft into it. We put it. everything yeah. into it. You know, if there's a way to, not even so much cutting corners money-wise, we just, we like to have a say and we like to create our own things, music on stage and off stage. Do you not think that's the best way of doing it? Because, I mean, yeah. a big criticism that, that I have of the industry you get kids, they'll go on the X Factor, yeah. they're famous for five minutes, they're yeah. not very good, they've got no depth, they've got no substance, but you guys, I've watched your sound check, yeah. I've watched you put everything together, you do the whole lot from do, yeah. your marketing, you're putting together, you're writing the songs, you, you're getting the gigs together, you're pretty much in control of your own destiny. Mm. Now, with record labels, and I did notice on Twitter that you know there's a big label looking to sign bands. Yeah. I don't know whether that's a good thing for you or a bad thing to be controlled. I mean, yeah. I mean, they, don't get me wrong. We're just yeah. happy to play. You know, if if labels want to come at us, that they, they can. There are a few as approaches, but you know, come and get us. We're not going to sit at home. We're not going to. You know, we're gonna. If you want to catch us, come catch us. What we do best, yes, yeah. playing gigs. You know, live. We, you know, things haven't been handed to us. We work for it. Mm. As you says, merchandise. We'll happily stand there and do it. Yeah. I'm sure you've be- been listening to music yeah. for years, and like back in like back say like 10, 20 years ago, bands did it all for themselves, and that's the exactly. way it was, yeah. and I mean, that's the way it should be. Yeah. And we don't get me wrong. We fly this. We've everywhere you'll see around this city of Birmingham. You know. We, our stickers are over our flyers there we go to gigs we stand out in the rain yeah. we fly gigs you know nothing's handed to us and so that you know we expect nothing we're going to graft for it mm. it's true 
And we, uh, we've got a record label, by the way, Gore. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, if you want to sign up to it, I'll yeah, sign you up yeah, yesterday. No. <laughs> I've heard you, I think it's super. Want a proper one, though. Well, you know. Uh, listen, we, you know. Hey, we, everything's we proper. appreciate everything. It's about creating a scene. Yeah. It's about unity, joining together, and and people buying into it. Yep, and it's like your music. It, yeah, it's people buying in. into what yeah. you're doing. I mean, if you don't believe in what you're doing, then who else is supposed to care? Exactly. You know, if, if, if you're if you're sitting on the fence, you, if you, you've got to be wholeheartedly, or it's never going to work. Yeah. We believe in what we've got. You no, know, no one's going to put us down. And you know, we'll take we we'll take criticism. We've had bad reviews, reviews, you know, like years ago, and but you learn from them. You know, yeah. we're, we're open. We're, 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 not, we're not perfect. We're far from it. We're, ha- we're happy to learn. We're open to learn, and we're willing to just graft. You know. And play, and, and that's where we intend to do. We're a working band, that's all we are. We're a working class band. Yep. And tonight you've got three other bands yep. supporting you. Mm-hmm. Yep. So have a quick name check of, yeah, of the, those. The Sugar Razors, uh, Soldier, and the Stacks. Uh, three bands that you know we've played on the circuit. You know we, we like the lads. Sugar Razors, Castle really. Vale. Yeah, Sugar yep. Razors, Castle Vale. We grew up with them. Stacks are really nice lads, nice atmosphere, nice ambience, nice music. Played with them in uh, Victoria a few you know? times. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. You know. So we stick to that. Boys, been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, Thank you Let's very have much. that name check before we go. Luke. I'm Luke. Surname as well. Davis. Luke Davis. Blimey, my uh, mum's maiden name's Davis. Are you, with, with the or without? Without. We could be related, Luke. Yeah. Talk about that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Daniel Cor. But Danny, you know, to be cool and that. Danny Cor. Danny, cool. singer, songwriter. Your other member has had to just shoot off. To do his hair, Beaver. yeah. Yeah, Beaver yeah ja- James Tranter is our lead guitarist. Works very hard as well on social networking sites, so James. He does. very does. He does. Crafter. And your drummer? Internet slug. Anthony John, because I'm posh, burn. Oh, blimey, you've got a double metal name. Yeah. yeah. I reckon he's still that in. A brummer, a working class brummer <laughs> yeah. with a fucking double battle <laughs> name. <laughs> boys, have a great night. Thanks We're going to follow you all the way and play your, your music on our Biscuit Boys show and on our sports radio music shows. Thank you. You know, Thank we're you with you. Much. We'll support you as much as what we. It's bloody noisy out here, really, all the bugs. Yeah. yeah. I've been in a barn. Have a great noise. Thank you, mate. Top biscuit band. Bo- make some noise for the Biscuit Boys. Yeah. yeah. Tag that. <laughs> you know, I nearly fell over. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thanks Thank for you your time. Much. Cheers, Thank guys. You. Cheers. Nice one, Danny. Thank you, mate. See you later. Cheers. Somewhere, but nowhere I'm going. Are you on my side? Where the tables and chairs collide. I was broken to be, but I'm still alive. Well, I'm so perfect, circles in twine. to bury my own shame
Joining me now on the Sports Radio Music Show with me, the Gabby Cabby. I find an office everywhere, lads. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 is, this is my office. Introduce yourselves. You're here for the EP launch of Howling with the world's greatest band, Broken with Rebels. Mind you, you're second best. <laughs> <laughs> but you are supporting. You'll probably be better than them one day. Do you want me to uh, cut that or leave it in? No, no, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much of a speaker, mate. No, that's right. Good. We've got this. Tell um, me about the band. Tell me about your influences. Tell me about your music. And tell me all about yourselves. Uh, we are Dan Smith, James Dudley, Ben Monaghan and James Russell. We're the Stacks. Okay. And we play indie rock and we're yep. from... Manita, Basically, we're Manita, from yeah, we're from Manita, yeah. yeah. We just, we just don't, we don't want to admit it usually. <laughs> <Why> <laughs> it's not? a great town. No, I was going to say, Nuneaton's a great place. It's, it's a great town. Yeah, it's a great town. It does the job. Town. There's I mean, shops and stuff. Really much of a music scene on there, no, it's so. difficult. That's why we come to Birmingham quite a lot. Yeah. Um, we, yeah, we usually do a lot of Birmingham, Leicester and stuff just for that reason. Mm-hmm. Um, we're uh, really excited to be playing tonight. Yeah. Um, we've been working on our set and we've been adding some like new parts into the songs. We're just releasing Ugly People, which is our new single that's coming out fairly soon. Um, and we've been working on a music video as well. We had to run away to an industrial estate and do it at like half 11, yeah, 12 o'clock at night. night. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we muted the drunk it down, blazed and the so music that. through this like, like through Jim's car and like we mined along and yeah. yeah. Car headlights for lighting. As well. <laughs> it's all DIY, but we're like yeah, the video's coming out soon. But we're excited to play tonight because we've got Broken Root Rebels releasing yep. their EP yeah, Sugar Razors are opening Soldiers, Soldiers playing yeah. like great band we've played with them a couple of times that's with Broken Root Rebels we're excited for it man Stax it's a great name for a, a band it's a great brand of music Stax and Motown yeah, yeah, any yeah, of that yeah, influencing yeah, yeah. your music as well? Uh, not really. Yeah. It just sort of fell into place. Quite a few people have mentioned that. It's quite yeah, cool. We, we were thinking yeah. of making up T-shirts like that. We don't know if we're treading on anyone's toes. Like, yeah. you're, you're copyright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. No. Well, I listen to Motown, but yeah. <laughs> not exclusively. But yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't really anything to do with that. It, we, we tried names for ages and we couldn't come up with anything until we, literally we were in the pub and there was a stack of coins on the table. So Dan said the stacks. Yeah. And it worked. That's yeah. 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 We really yeah. liked it. So it's easy to say it. when you're in a bar. Like, yeah. What's your bank called? Stacks. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty straightforward. We're excited for it. Anyway. You play a lot of blues, really. Like you're, you're quite a bluesy player. Yeah, we've, we've uh-huh. all sort of listened to pretty different things. Like, I listen yeah. to lots of classic rock and blues. Jim sure. listens to lots of punk and hardcore and yep. stuff. Dan listens to lots of indie and classic rock and stuff. To, uh, teeny Bop. Teeny Bob, Bob. Yeah. Uh, J-pop. Well, really, I love really. uh, it. My Chemical Romance. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did, I did back in the day. I, I used to love the use My Chemical, my chemical day, Romance. Yes. It was. Oh well, I was, I was born through new metal, so I yeah. listened to Linkin Park, My Chemical Romance, The Used, Kill Switch, Engage. I loved the Taste of Chaos tour and stuff like that. But I don't know. I, I just. just I, I like. I like drummers. But I'm really into John Bonham, and mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I just like drummers more than anything, and bands come secondary. But I. I love bands as well, so... Um, but it's great yeah, that you've got so many influences that, that are in that melting pot. Yeah. You know, it's uh, with all bands, it's a unity, isn't it? It's not mm. just about one person, it's That's coming it. together, you know, jamming, someone has an idea, Definitely. you get the instruments out and then you take it somewhere else and, you and all you of a sudden hear. you've created something. That's it, like when you listen to our music, you can you can literally hear, and our, when you see our live show as well, you can see all of our influences mm-hmm. come together yeah, yeah. to make what we have as our music and what we take out to the world you know yeah. like we all as, as four of us we all do have quite individual personalities yep. but when we all come together it sort of just gels and works mm-hmm. so yeah, we've been crafting it for the you know for the past two years and now it's time to go full on you know what I mean try and get as many gigs as possible and release the video and yeah work hard <laughs> Quite nice to like not fit under one one sort of genre of music as well. Yeah. So like, I oh, you, you, you said you don't bloody talk. This is my moment, man. That's it. That's, that's all I've got to say. That's it. You, you are someone else now. You are a natural. No, that's, that's all I've got. That's literally it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a deliberate thing. We're not really yeah. trying to do anything new. We're just playing stuff that we like. And I think if you I think as long as you're enjoying yeah. what you're playing, it's always going to be fresh. Do you so not think that's, that's the best thing to do? I think so. Do yeah. what you want to do rather than what people want you to do. Yeah. Because it's almost like selling out then, just writing yeah, yeah, yeah. and performing mm-hmm. to sell records. It's about you, it's about an earthiness, it's about an organic situation. It, it's your music, it's your future. It's, it's as pure as we can get it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. See, that's the thing, it has to be a muse. It has to be, like, when we're playing in practice, there's, there's some songs that we've played through, or there's a couple of ideas where mm-hmm. we just thought, no, that's not going to work, because it's, it's not really fulfilling. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we, we try to stay true with, like, what we're playing in respect of... 
we don't, we don't really think about whether it's sell or not. We like do exactly. we enjoy it, and if we enjoy playing the songs, then we, we sort of work it. on it mm-hmm. and uh, get it to where it is. And yeah, we we went down to London, and recorded. Um, Smash and Crash came out recently. That's uh, the music video is all done for that, and it's yeah, on yeah. wearestacks.com. And yeah, we've got ugly people coming out, and what comes new? Ugly soon. people. Yeah. Is that written about somebody specifically, or uh, a group um, of people? It's, it's not written it's about not people. It's not written about people being ugly. It's more like personality and stuff like okay, that. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, don't want to be. Do we're not. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's yeah, not. Saying, look how sexy we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's not literal appearance. It's, yeah. uh, it, it's more of a, a nod towards. Um, uh, what's should, inside the yeah, person yeah, rather than yeah, what's yeah. on the shell. Do you know, yeah, no, didn't want to. Don't want to dig a hole then. And you say <laughs> stacks.com, I assume that's uh, your we, website. We are stacks.com. If you go facebook.com forward slash we are stacks, Twitter, we are stacks, uh, Instagram, Dan underscore stacks, SoundCloud. SoundCloud, we are stacks. It's all. All those all glorious digital things yeah. 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 you can go check out. Yeah. Spotify, but, Amazon, iTunes, all Yeah, that's all, all, all on there as well. Yeah. But integral and important for young bands to get the music out there. That is the way forward. Definitely. Social networking is absolutely a vital piece of kit for you yeah, guys, yeah, isn't yeah, it? The yeah, amount so of time. Just, I'd say it's probably about 70% promotion, 30% practice, to yeah. be honest. Like it's, there's so much time taken up. You have to craft it. You have to like play the algorithms in a little bit, but mm-hmm. it's the best way to do it. And uh, you know, it's, it's, a good, it's the best, easiest platform for new music to come out. Yeah. Like anyone can do it. So in some ways that's bad, and in most ways it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. It so. has to be done that way. Like... Um, if there was like loads of venues where there was a cracking scene every single night and you could go there and say, Oh come to our gig then yep. great happy days but it's a, it's a new world, like you just have to go on- online and promote online. Um but we love playing shows so yeah. There's nothing well, like yeah, playing a live show. There's nothing like nothing. playing a live show. What kind of buzz, what kind of talk me through the energy, you know, you you're on there and you see people. You can't replicate so, that in a studio, can you? No, you can't. Watch it. Even if there's six people at a gig and three of them know your tunes, like yeah. watching people sing your tunes back at you, like, yeah. it, it doesn't matter if they've seen you a million times. It's just it, it makes a difference, man. Like it's, it's, yeah, like you say, there's nothing like it at all. And it must right. be so easy for a band to think, you know. Throw a few covers. Let's be a covers band. More people will come and watch us. Oh, we tried that. We, we don't. We don't play that. covers well yeah. at all. We hate it. Like yeah. we tried it for a bit, and we chucked around the idea of doing like some covers gigs, to, like earn a bit of cash, but we just hate it. Yeah. So we just, <laughs> we'll stay poor. We, we can <laughs> play. Yeah. They've already been written by someone. Yeah. Someone else. So. Yeah. yeah. yeah Superb. Yeah. We, we don't want to be. Um, the way we saw it is, if you play a cover, then like maybe like the way we saw it is, you you will get known as that band that does a good cover. Yeah. Of whatever. I'd um, rather be known as that band that plays that sick song that they yeah. wrote. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Playing, playing that cover. I'm with you. Stay true to yourself and keep doing it. Keep believing in it. And can I wish you all the best? Thanks very much. For Thank now much. and for the future. Nice and we'll get on saying we'll get Mrs. Brown to get on saying Cloud do some stuff and put a couple of your songs out. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, brilliant. Thanks Thank for your you time, guys. Much. Really Cheers, appreciate man. it. Thank Cheers. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. See you, you boys. Lovely, thank you.
Joining me now, two members of the band Soldier that are playing here on the EP launch of Howling We Broken with Rebels. Tell me your names and tell me about Soldier. I want to know all about and I wonder how you got the name it's a wicked name all in five minutes well you can have six or seven if you like oh. uh, well I'm John yep guitarist okay uh, you can just introduce yourself I'm Ross all right. drummer drummers are always quiet aren't they and crazy yeah, I well, yeah they are barmy aren't they boring uh, I don't know the name really I think we just from an old Steve Marriott thing got Teen Soldier great song by the way yeah I'm sure just that was it that, yeah. just mm. named after that uh, I've had a few personnel changes. Been going yeah. about seven or eight years now. Okay. Done a few gigs and stuff, obviously. Mm-hmm. A few songs out. We just got a new singer now, so just trying to bed him in, I suppose. Yeah. We played with Broken Whip Rebels at years ago when we did our single launch. I'm sure they played. Mm-hmm. But they called the Two and Eights. No, that's or another band. Up, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure they played on our EP thing. Oh, we, we played with them before. I know Danny. I know John. Yeah. And um, it was nice for them to ask us to play. So mm-hmm. I'm just looking forward to the gig, I suppose. I've Soldier, listened. are you on social networking sites, on Spotify or on SoundCloud? How can we how can we get hold of your music and describe that music as well? We took a bit of the music off because we've got the new singer and stuff. So we want to yeah. take it all off, have a fresh... Okay. Not a relaunch, but, you know, I suppose I can't think of another word for it. Relaunch. Just rebranding. With a new singer. Yeah, 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 rebranding then, I suppose. Mm-hmm. So... Um, just trying to get a bit of money together, get a recording together. We've been in the studio the last couple of weeks trying to put the finishing touches to a couple of songs. Yeah. Um, so there's nothing on Spotify really at the minute. Mm-hmm. Um, we're on facebook.com yeah. forward slash soldiers music and Twitter as well the same forward slash soldier music. Um, I don't know how you describe it really. It's not really indie, it's just rock and roll I suppose. Sure. Me, me and Ross anyway listen to a load of 70s, 60s and 70s stuff like Free. Yeah, I like a bit of Thin Lizzy, but do you do a I bit of singing as me. well? I do a little bit, yeah, yeah. but only back in. Only bit of Paul back Rogers. In. <laughs> it's more like Paul Daniels. Don't <laughs> tell me, but <laughs> magic. You get that? No, oh, it's oh, great. Yeah, it's lost. Superb, isn't it? You got it. You got to. You got to know your audience. Oh, Hopefully, there'll be an audience tonight, and I can. T- I can crack that one there. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, it's it is building up. There are going to be. I mean, this is a great little venue as well. Have you played there before at the Wagon and Horses? I don't think I've ever been here. Eh? Really? They tell me it's been done up and stuff out the back. It's nice, yeah. It's looking proper stage, everything. It's like sound engineer, yeah. It's looking absolutely, it's looking a million dollars out there. Yeah, it's looking a bit tangy out there. It's nice to see Johnny Cole's big head as well. Oh, God, yeah. Did you see that video it's... with him in it? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's why he always wears a shirt. He can't get a T-shirt <laughs> over it. It's just the colour. <laughs> and where are you from? Are you boys brummies? You're from the local area? Yeah, yeah. I live yeah. in Erdington. Okay, yeah. Same as Russ. And then the other guys, uh, size heard in some way. Yeah. And Paul's Coventry, but we're all local. So like North Birmingham with a little bit of a Coventry flavour as well. Yeah, yeah. And some of the other bands that you're into? Uh, the Who, Small Faces. Yeah. So um, you've got some great, yeah. you know. Humble Pie. We're after, we're great after a keyboard influences player, really. there. Oh, oh, Hammond really? If, the, if there's any Hammond players listening, get in touch. Is, this one, you, is this one of the other guys there? Yeah, join him. You look like a singer. No. Here ends. Where's the singer? Sewing machine. Is he buggered off? You're the singer. Oh, I'm princess. Ah, thank God for that, princess. (laughs) I like him. (laughs) Tell me about your uh, your singing technique. He's just been saying you're absolutely brilliant. They were looking for a top draw singer, and here he is. And he didn't put words in my mouth. (laughs) (laughs) He's great. Well, what do you want to know? I just want to know all about you. No, specifically specifically all this. You want to know about you? You want to know about Soldier? These are the best ones to ask. You want to know about me? What what do you want to know? Rebrand, isn't it? I don't want to know about myself. I think I pulled it. <laughs> you called him Prince. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Fuck you. Now I'm off. <laughs> I'll stay sweet. No, you're all right, pal. <laughs> <laughs> There's obviously a bit of humour in your band as well. You like to have the crack and have the banter. Yes. You know. And you recently come to the band. Yeah, I'm the new. Where were you from? Where was I from? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just sitting at home on my ass was where really? I was from. Yeah. Yeah. Exceptionally busy doing nothing. Working the whole day through it. And how good, how, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like fucking Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, do not it? That's what it's from, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I can see this gig's going to be absolute, you know. I don't know about a band, you should be a load of fucking comedians, you lot. It's not very nice, is well, it? Well, it is, it's very true. Sound of a joke. <laughs> well, comedians yeah. are right. Comedians yeah. are entertainers, hopefully we're yeah, entertaining absolutely. a bit like have a bit of a flirt with, uh, yeah. with the rocker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, where'd so you come from? You got in the band. Yeah. 
Uh, Simon sent me a message on Facebook. <laughs> That's it. Basically, <laughs> so, go on. I remember him from back in the day. Like, yeah. We used to be in a band before, and he was in a band called Sunny Blues. And yeah. I remember him like, looking the part. It looked great. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, but this is about That's a ten. Sort of gun <laughs> to the heart, <laughs> it's, it's about a ten stretch ago. It was. <laughs> so then I thought, right, okay. <laughs> Our other singer went. I said, oh, "I know this geezer, but I ain't seen him for a ten stretch, and uh, I don't n- remember if he can sing." <laughs> <laughs> but he looked all right, so we got him down, and then straight away, like he just blew the cobwebs away, like, you know, and um, he learned some songs, and it was like just fitted straight in, really. Yeah, and uh, uh, it, it took it from there. Uh, Need to lose some timber. Uh, yeah, and, and then I said to said to cut down on the bread, man, and. Uh, Get, just get yourself uh, back in shape and uh, you're in. You know what I mean? So, and that's it, really. Ah, oh, super. I'm the worst person to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fucking knew that. I, I, I just did this. <laughs> <laughs> and your influences as well. You, you bit like the guys, oh, small man. faces, the you and. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's all over the place in this yeah, one because man John, af- like after the band, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after the band, like uh, <laughs> listen to music pre 1970, and the yeah, other yeah. ones that don't listen to anything like. Pre nineteen ninety, and it's just a complete nightmare sometimes. So it's it's <laughs> it's a complete mix and mash. I basically yeah. everything sixties, not fun of the seventies that much. Only yeah. a bit of it. Ridiculous. Neil Young maybe is alright. Um, uh, That's got you. Yeah. A touch of the eighties, nineties is more my bag. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and, and then just anything with guitars all the way through, but with um, without sounding like a like. Plank, you need a bit of gain on the guitar, it's yeah, not yeah. like the sort of libertine sounds. That's uh, what I'm going, I digress. So, if I said to you uh, a musical hero of yours, oh, who would it be? Uh, bass player wise, uh, John Paul Jones, Led Zeppelin, bass, Led Zeppelin, <laughs> Led Zeppelin, <laughs> Led Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> I like the 70s, but my favourite bass player, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> just because he outfits me. Now, uh, Everyone keeps asking us these questions. Like, yeah. who do you sound like? And we don't sound like anyone. We're influenced by loads. And you yeah, can yeah, put yeah. influences out, but we don't sound like any of them. Um, so it's it's like one of those. But yeah, and everything like Oasis, Beatles, Stone Roses, uh, and they're like the obvious ones, which I hate really. Yeah, enough. sure, yeah, yeah. But you know, the only yeah. way people can get an idea is that you have to source out these ones. Um, yeah. Well, he's, never spoken, right? <laughs> he's done very well, I know. Uh, Did you know this was coming? No. Where were that. you, by the way, anyhow, when you was like these two were doing We've all the hard work? We've been to ticket flogging down the custom factory. Oh, yeah. right. Did you sell any? Yeah. Fair play to you. Only to people we knew that were there. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't just turn up off the cuff. All right, you buy some tickets? <laughs> we knew they were going to be there. The one so thing you... about our music, though, the, the harmonies do come through. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this, yeah. 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 Big dirty riffs and harmonies. Fair play. And, and, and it's like, you know, we, we do have the sort of stadium sort of choruses as well, yeah. don't we? So Who writes all your stuff? Uh, me. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, one of us who's not here would say that he does. Yeah, but he don't. He does the line share of things. Oh, right. like, uh, but music, like, we all put our stuff in the mountain pot and he sort of like. Bring the nucleus is he, he going to turn up yeah. in a bit like I, I don't know I hope so but then I don't hope so because <laughs> it could be a, nah it's alright yeah uh, he will be late he's probably having a meal somewhere because he always we do gigs and he has meals just before we're supposed to go on where oh. are we at I'm having a meal <laughs> yes I'm yes at. I know all. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he going to be home at half ten as well well, yeah, because they're trying to go uh, Coventry. He lives over there. Ah, uh, bloody yeah, yeah, yeah. Who wants to live in Coventry? Yeah. People in Coventry don't want to live in Coventry. This is Coventry Radio. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just be fucking out, boy. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, lads, look, really looking forward to the show tonight. I mean, you've put a smile on my face. You're a great bunch of lads. Awesome. Lovely banter. Superb. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon. Cheers, see you mate. Oh, always a nice one. Start. Cheers. In your hands And you alive
Right, joining me finally on the uh, Sports Radio Music Show. Didn't quite get the name when I watch a gig in. Is it the Sugar Rays or the fucking Sugar Rays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a plethora of swearing on it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's the Sugar Rays. Oh, the Razors. Yeah, Razors. Okay. Sweet and sharp. Well, yeah, because I thought like with Sugar Ray, it might be some kind of boxing, blues, you know, to, I'm sorry, to Sugar blues, Ray, yeah, Sugar, yeah, Ray yeah. Lerner, Sugar Ray Robinson, but it's the Sugar Razors. Yeah. How did that feel as a band? Well, you're the lead singer. Firstly, let's have a name check of... Uh, Ice Lightning. Uh, Brute Force. Earnings and Thunder. I'm guessing you wasn't christened. Oh, no, names. no, no. Yeah. But it's how we'd love to be known. <laughs> No, you were energetic, you were vibrant, you were ripping up, you were having it. I would describe you as pretty much a punk bass. That's what we'd like to try on, you know, sort of punk garage rock sort of, yeah. yeah. We don't, you know, we, like I said, we haven't, we haven't got a bass player as well, we're more guitar driven. Yeah. Bass is for dance music as well, so yeah. it's, all, it's all rock. And I certainly got the vibes from you that you're proper in love with your guitar music. No, definitely. It's never dying, it's always here. It's going to stay. Especially if we've got you know influences like Johnny Thunders, Heartbreakers, New York Dolls, Iggy and the Stooges, all you know Gary's Rock, Psych Rock. Yeah. And so we just try. We always have fun. We just try and make it as loud as possible for everyone. Hopefully, people enjoy it as well. Because yeah, we we love it up there. Yeah. shone through the love and there was obviously some some of your fans in the crowd that were shouting <laughs> you know some numbers oh, to play and trying to get us off <laughs> <laughs> and the obscenities were back from oh of course well that's what well, it's all about going to a gig isn't it you exactly, have a good time yeah. you can have you know the band so with the, your, your yeah. fans all three of them for us <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah but now we love it I mean especially like a good pub like the Wagon and Horses in yeah. uh, Digbuff it's a fantastic place of music yeah. and we love playing here and recording in the studio to well, get well, we've got, got a little down. thing on Facebook and SoundCloud in a minute but that was just a really rough sort of yeah. demo we're going to be recording around August time we're in the uh, actual proper studio recording yeah. hopefully to have some out there soon mm-hmm. early September hopefully are you from Castlevale or are you from the same well, yeah, well, area yeah, we've all we're childhood friends you know, we've all grew up together went to school together and we, we started it when we was about 15 yeah a good 10 years ago now is it yeah. I, I mean uh, 4 we're only 19 <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we've always been friends, we've always loved the same sort of music as well. I mean, when you grow up on Castle Vale, it's, it's a bit hard to get into that sort of rock music and that, And but, you know, we've done it. And like uh, the other bands and Art Broken with Rebels have yeah. sort of broke the mould of, you know, what these people categorise as what people like on Castle Vale music, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And moving on to the drummer. I mean, you're really smashing them drum kits, weren't you? You were having, awesome. having, <laughs> having the time of your life, mate. Completely fucked, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was decent. Yeah. You, you got to... Not the best drummer in the world, so I just as much as I can and hope for the best. 
So, oh, that's pretty technical. Now you've got a motorhead vest. Is uh, are they one of your big influences? Yeah, quite widespread. To be fair, like into anything indie, rock, fucking metal, punk, all, all kind of stuff. Like, yeah. I like it, I like it. What did you grow up listening to as a kid? Out on John, sadly. Oh, right, okay. well, That so, looked very non out on John. <laughs> yeah, but it's my old man. Fucking loves out on John. Yeah. Started to worry about him, to be fair. Uh, if out on John was watching you tonight, what do you think out on John would say about you as a band? Shit, and probably going to get a fucking pina colada or something. Yeah. I don't know. He enjoys himself, don't he, our house on his fucking piano. <laughs> I'm moving on. <laughs> yeah. How good was that out there? That was that looks superb. Oh, it's just yeah. another day at the office, isn't it? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. So, you know. But. And, and you're a you're a you're a punk band. Where's all your kind of like staples and all the things coming out your nose? And, and well, you, you don't you know you don't have to dress like a prat to play music like a prat, I suppose. <laughs> But we never, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's really difficult for us to get gigs, to be honest. We don't really belong to a scene. We, uh, we're more punk sort of rock than who we're playing with here. It's more indie. And like, we're, we're too, we, we don't look metal and punk enough to play with punk bands. And that's how it's caught in the middle, sadly. Where do you gig? How do you find them gigs if you say you're finding it difficult? Well, luckily, we, we, we have not, you know, built up a bit of a reputation with, um, not, you know, we play with the Catapult Club. Um, who, who's it, who's it, who runs Where's the, that? Yeah. The Catapult Club is just um, it's the name of like a sort of local promoter. Is, is it um, Arthur Tap who runs it? And he, he puts us on lot of those places. You know, we get on well with him, and we, we, we generally support us like a lot of bands who we know through friends, really, yeah, and through sure. words. It's, it's, it's a bit hard for us at the minute. We're not recording, so well, you know, yeah. obviously. But uh, look, hopefully, word of mouth is spreading, and you know, we are getting the gigs now. So give, us a, give us a name check of some of the venues in Birmingham that you're playing. Oh, the Wagon and Horses, Flapper and Firkin, the Actress and Bishop. Uh, soundbar? No, no, soundbar's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. The Victoria, Sunflower Lounge, yeah. Adam and Eve, Mosley Arms, Academy. the Academy, yeah, we yeah. played the Academy, haven't we? Mosley as well. Yeah, we played Mosley as well. We've got the, uh... Bulls Head. But we haven't played the Bulls, it's too jazzy for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let scum like us in. <laughs> you played play the Roadhouse, the Cross. Yeah. So there's enough, there's enough venues in Birmingham. Oh, oh yeah, but, I think the uh, the scene's thriving at the minute, and it's yeah. hopefully it just look it's in the charts. It's a bit dire at the moment for guitar music, especially you know, what what we like. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we're not really too keen on much of the indie stuff like Arctic Monkeys or Kasabi, and we don't really like them. Mm. But uh, we, we don't like, you know, we love our punk rock, and hopefully there's a little market somewhere for it. Now but I mean, did, you did. Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, but, carry on. But you did say on stage there about the punk picnic. Tell me about that. It's uh, well, we haven't been invited, but uh, it's, it's um, I think it's a two free day here at the uh, Wagon and Horses. I think there's, uh, there's a few good bands on, like a uh, Police Bastard, uh, Indecent Assaults, you know, some great names as well. The Drongos of Europe and all them, that load of crap. Yeah. All yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, you're popular on the scene then? Oh, yeah, definitely. We, uh, like a lead balloon. <laughs> But we, we, we enjoy it, we, we play the music that we want to hear and we yeah. want to listen to and if, if people like it, that's fantastic, if they don't then there's always another nice bass driven, dancey indie band they can go and listen to. <laughs> but that's, that's the kind of what I'm getting back from all the bands, it's all about you, it's, it's playing music that you like. Oh definitely. If people like that music, great, Yeah. but it's, it's pretty much about, about you and you've got to get up there, you've got to enjoy it, you've got to believe in what you play. <laughs> yeah, we do. And that come across to me tonight. Well, that's what we've been doing, I mean, we've been doing it for a few years now yeah. and that. We've, got, we've got nowhere and nowhere fast, but we, we still love doing it, we still love gigging, we still love playing, playing our own stuff, yeah. writing our own music and it's, it's, it's great. We wouldn't change it for the world. So finally, anybody that wants to link up, wants to listen to your music, let's have a final shout out for your website and your Facebook and your Twitter. What is it? Uh, <laughs> we are the free horse of the <laughs> <rock> apocalypse. <laughs> just, just search, just search, read out search just for Sugar Rises on Facebook. Sugar We've got a music video as well out there somewhere. You'll find it on YouTube. Yeah. That's done by like a little local uh, amateur filmmaker for his uh, university project. So okay. I've searched for that. It's called Fang Banger, the track is. Hope you enjoy. It's called what? Fang Banger. It's like a True Blood vampire show reference. Are you into the vampire scene? Oh, uh, not really, no. But I just thought I'd try and cash in on it. Boys, for now, 
thanks very much. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Quality. Thank you, Mike. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Well, that's it from me at the Wagon and Horses in Digbeth. Thanks for listening. Good night and God bless.